Yoga Box Clips. Now, it's not necessarily that you got to spend a lot of time in there to be profitable. I think profitability is kind of, I don't know, for me personally, I personally believe that being profitable is the easy part. Um, getting to, you know, where you want to be target wise, um, you know, a, a 4K a day or 5K a day target like myself, I think that's, you know, difficult to attain. That takes time, it takes effort. Um, you have to be able to uh, have to have fervor through dips. Like some people would give up right here. And some people give up right around here, somewhere in here. They're like, I'm out. Um, but I, I get to a point where, I mean, if you just, if you started at zero right here, this from here to here is a three up to that's, that's a $5,500 move. Right, that's fifty five hundred dollars from there to there. That spot. Okay. And then we draw down. Um, that's a twenty five hundred dollar drawdown. Can you can you sleep through that and know that? Hey, well, a big trade. If I'm on the right trade, here we go. Now I'm up four k on the day, which means from my negative point of the day. Minus 3,200, so I had to go $7,000, right? Men's confidence in the system, that's true. And that confidence only comes with practice. That confidence comes with the practice of the system. The system is it by itself going to do that for you, but the confidence in it, trading over time, working on your sizing, working on your entries, working on your adding to positions, uh, sizing is a lot of what we do here because the system does all of the analysis for you. The analysis is done. Now the execution comes to you and practicing execution um, on your account sizing, on your trade sizing, that, that comes with a little bit of practice. And I try to narrow that practice down for you. Only focus on five sizes, right? So what do we got? We got toe in the water, quarter position, half position, full and full plus. That's it. Five trade sizes. If you can just mentally Get that in and practice that. Um, one of the things, I'm gonna give you the best tip right now. Everybody who stayed here through the end, listen to me, talk to you guys about it. Best tip I can tell you, if you're, track, if you're practicing this weekend in Market Replay, use the rewind button. Right, this, right here, I'm gonna black and white this. Use the rewind. A lot of traders, even though you're practicing, you're not using rewind. What does that mean? I mean, take a trade, do it well, but you're like, ah, I didn't do too well. I could have done better on that. And then you go on to the next trade. No, don't do that. Instead of going on to the next trade, rewind, okay? go back, play it again, go through it, play it again. Oh man, you know what? I could have sized up on that. I could have added on that one thing. Okay, great. Do it again. Now, when you do it perfect, boom, you got the perfect one. You nail it. Awesome. I would like you to do it one more time to reinforce this for yourself. Go back. Do it one more time. You follow me? Once you've reached perfection, okay? Do it one more time. This is called baking, okay? I want you to bake it in your brain. So you got it now, I want you to bake it in, right? I want you to nail it. I want you to have it in you now. Look, if you, just because you get it perfect one time, ah, and then you walk away and then you're gonna forget. You come back, you're not good. Let me actually show you how this applies even in regular gaming. Let me pull up some of my, um, pull up one of my gaming clips right now here for you. Watch this. Okay, here we go. So I'd like you, I'm gonna show you an example here. <clears throat> now, I'm flying around in my jet. I haven't been in a jet in a while, okay? And starting off here, like my first thing, I remember I started off rusty. Hey, look, I can't get on the guy. I can't get on the guy. Oh, I missed it again. I mean, I should have normally had that guy first round. Okay. I That took me a few tries to get that guy. Normally, I'm going to get that guy right off the bat. I was a little bit rusty. I hadn't played in a while, and so I lose it a little bit. But watch what's going to happen. You'll start to watch me get better as the game progresses. Now, mind you, I already have the skill set, right? It's baked into me. It's there. But... It's not to the level that I can play. If you give me a little bit of time and I start getting warmed up, what I call getting warmed up, which is why I tell you guys, listen, if you want your best trading, what you should do is um, 
market replay the night before. I've said this before in the past, like I have noticed there is a, a deal. I, if I have spent time market replaying the night before, I have yet, and I'm about to knock on wood, market replay the night before, I would not have a red day the following day. I noticed that for, uh, remember when I was doing that for a long time, uh, I don't do that as much now because I, I mean, now it's, the more that you play, I mean, at some point when you reach, you know, years of experience, which I noticed, look, I haven't killed very many people, right? I'm still flying around, you notice I'm, I'm rusty, I'm trying to evade an anti-aircraft, see that guy over there, anti-aircraft, is sitting there trying to, like, get me, he is trying real hard to get me, and I, I'm still trying to get my bearings, okay, I might have, might have gotten a little bit right there, but I got to kind of wind off of it, I'm still rusty, I come and take a second pass, which is good, I should be able to take him out right here. All right, I do get him, almost hit that tree, very, very close. But watch this, I can still tell I'm rusty. Okay, because watch this, I'm gonna whiff this. I totally whiffed that guy, totally whiffed. I should have definitely taken out that helicopter. I'm having to come around, do a second round to chase him while he's running away, okay? And I finally do get it, okay? But I was rusty at the beginning of this game, but watch what happens. You're about to see if you, you know, follow through on the rest of this video, I'll release this this weekend. I want you guys to see what happens. This is like market replaying the night before. Now all of a sudden, I've done some market replay here. I'm doing a few rounds. There's my buddy right there. He's a green uh, jet flying along with me. Okay, so I'm gonna get on in behind him. I'm kind of getting my bearings. I'm kind of feeling my speed out. I'm trying to make sure that I'm running, uh, you know, in, our, in this game, you wanna travel your speed between 300 and 315. That's the ideal for the best cutting speed. And so I'm coming up here, I'm approaching this guy, and now watch, I can still tell I'm rusty. Watch this, I still, normally I would dodge that guy. So I'm still rusty, even right here. But watch what happens after that kill right there, and yes, I'm six kills in, I'm top of the boards right there, but still, I'm rusty, I can tell, okay? So I get in, I go do some more stuff, I get some practice in, but as you start to watch me progress through this game, I get insane with this game. Like, I start absolutely destroying people in this game, and what ha that happens after you kind of got warmed up, and this happens in trading too. The reason I'm telling you this is it happens in trading. You know all these things, you know all the deals. Like it's like I know I need to line up on a guy, I know all the technical things I need to do, but there is something about having your finger on the trigger and having been uh, doing it recently. Recency is key, and your practice that you've done most recently is what sticks in your head. Now again, here I'm, I'm flying in a helicopter uh, solo. Am I soloing? No, I got I got Princess Polka. <laughs> Princess Polka is in the uh, in the helicopter with me. She's uh, she's helping me out uh, with this little section here. But you know, we, we do a decent job. We're, we're flying around the map. We kill we kill, kill quite a few people. Uh, she gets some good kills in. And uh, but you'll see uh, that you get better as you mark a replay. I think the helicopter is a little, a little more boring to watch than uh, flying around in a jet, so let me just pop this right there, but we were able to get out. Here comes Princess Polka. Princess Polka is going to hop out. She's going to help me heal up this uh, helicopter, so there's Princess Polka on the other side <laughs> healing us up. We didn't die. It's cool. It's cool. So anyhow, we, uh, we start shooting up. We have a good time, but yeah, your sensitivity on your mouse um, it's pushing the way up to the max to turn faster in the chopper. Yes, that that's super handy in the chopper. And then what you find later on is like I, I mean, I've got some videos that I'll probably show you guys, particularly around mouse settings and mouse speed. Um, you need to have your mouse sensitivity turned down pretty low when you start trading with our system because what you don't want to do is slip click. You slip click and you hit the buy button when you meant to hit sell. You hit the sell button and you meant to hit buy. That is a shitty day. Okay, so you want to turn that sensitivity down and where the accuracy is going to be high um, and that does improve your training, also it improves your aiming. Now some people would argue with that, like, well you can't move as fast. Well I'll tell you something, move your hand faster. Okay, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, people are like, oh there's not enough time to sleep. Arnold Schwarzenegger said, sleep faster. Okay, literally move your hand faster. Oh, um, somewhere in here we, we end up crashing, but... Uh, the more fun parts, I'm going to show you, let me progress to the end of the game. Watch the end of the match and watch my flying here towards the end of the match. Okay, so here's towards, uh, this is about the three quarters of the way through. Okay, I'm going to start, oh, yeah, I flew off of that guy. Okay, I was about to say, I'm about to start annihilating everyone, but I just start picking off target after target. I mean, nobody could get away from me at the end of this game. That guy's toast, one pass, he's toast. Let's see if I can play this at high speed. Can I go a little bit faster? 
I mean, I start like not missing anybody. That guy's on my team. Nice drop in on the tank. He's disabled. That guy's toast. I tried to shoot me. Oh, got his buddy. I watch this guy. He tries to turn around. And he's like, oh, I got him. He's, I'm going to get him over the mountain. Are you sure about that, bro? Nope. Perfection. Perfection. Oh, that guy tried to get me. Nope, not going to happen. Oh, he smoked me. I got smoked. <laughs> well, I thought that was one of those good spots where I, I went on a pretty, pretty solid run somewhere in there. But uh, basically, you get better. Practice, practice, practice. And uh, yeah, you just it'll get better. I think I was mad at that guy because I missed him on the first pass. Oh man, I love this game, man. I freaking love this game. I I could talk about Battlefield 3 all day. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. If you haven't played Battlefield, we have our own server, so you can guys come check it out. If you guys want to come and play with us, there's a uh, there's a lot going on here. I know it looks like oh, I'm just flying around and things of sort, but there's a lot going on in the ground as well. You don't have to be in the air all the time. You can fly tanks, uh, fly tanks. And you can drive tanks. Jeeps, run around, all those uh, A, B, C, D, E, uh, those are all points that you can capture, and uh, it's a lot of fun. There's that guy right there, he's running around with his buddies. <laughs> Almost got him. Alright, happy Friday everybody. I uh, hope you guys learned something from that, and thanks for uh, putting up with uh, watching my my gaming, even if you didn't want to. Um, but yeah, play your market replay over the weekend. Play and get paid. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.